really, if you think about the entry exit systems that are in use, they're actually the last line of defense for border authorities when somebody wants to come into the country. It's at that point that border officials, border officers are checking the information they've already had about travelers against a physical person who is presenting at the border. Everything else before has been data, has been related to the documents, but that physical intervention, the entry exit system, is when that border officer can eyeball somebody, determine their intent, check the information, and ultimately allow them into the country. Now, this has been done for decades, hundreds of years, that final check. What we've seen recently is huge advances in the technology that's available to those officers and also available to the travelers um, ahead of the journey starting to make it easier for everybody, to make it easier for them as travelers and to make it easier for the border officials. Some of this started in the US. Um, they did a lot with biometrics. It caused a lot of problems actually, capturing those biometrics at the primary line where the entry exit system was. Um, that administration of capturing 10 fingerprints and face and the information from the travel documents took a lot of time. What the US started to do and others have followed suit is take that administrative burden away from the officers and have the biometrics captured at kiosks. That actually led to a 400% improvement in throughput at the US borders. And that technology has expanded and grown forward. So now what we're seeing is a lot more use of biometrics to enable um, better identification of travelers, to enable more watch list checks and check on the uh, true identities, but also offer that facilitated experience. The EU is about to launch, or probably at the end of next year, its own entry exit system called EES, which will capture four fingers, the, the biometrics from four fingers on the right hand and the face. There's a lot of challenges around that operationally, and we're working with industry to understand how we can make that easier. What many are now looking at, and uh, I, I'm proud to be part of some of these conversations at CETA, um, is the use of things called digital travel credentials. So this is an ICAO standard to capture the information from your passport, put it onto your mobile phone safely and securely, and allow you as the traveler to share that. Now, if you can share that with a, with a country's entry exit system, there's all sorts of possibilities from uh, biometric galleries that allow you to have a truly seamless experience, a facilitated, secure experience. But that also means that border officers with their entry exit systems can focus on those people that need attention, whether that's high risk or whether it's vulnerable groups or indeed those who don't want to share biometrics. So there's a lot of evolution happening around entry exit systems. At CETA, we're proud to be part of the industry that's having these conversations and really driving towards safe, secure, facilitated experience for everybody um, and enjoy the prospects of travel, tourism and business internationally. So API is advanced passenger information. Really think of this as your travel document information, your passport information, plus some data about the flight or the, the cruise that you're on. That's sent in advance of travel, hence the information, hence the name, um, and is put into an entry exit system to allow that border officer to check before you arrive, make some determination of, of how they should process particularly high-risk individuals or those who they believe represent harm. Um, but it gives them that chance ahead of, of you actually arriving at the entry exit point. Um, passenger name record, PNR, is much more rich data. It tends to be used more in the intelligence gathering to identify those unknowns that potentially cause risk. Um, very useful for customs agencies. Also for identifying things such as human trafficking, human smuggling. Um, again, that information is used to enrich data about who is intending to come to a border and give those officials more opportunity to process the right people um, in the right way. We should never forget the first duty of any government is to protect its citizens. And really, border officials are that, that first line of defence, um, or the last line of defence in many ways, the last line before somebody comes into the country. And um, for us, not only is it the last line of defence, but it's the first opportunity for improvements as well which is why industry is working to 
make better use of advanced information, biometrics, digital travel credentials, to, as you say, Tony, make us all safer, more secure, but giving us that easier experience across the border too.